some questions on variation and proportion. But before I answer these questions, I just want to point out the vocabulary over here. In the questions, it might say x varies with y, x varies directly with y, or x is proportional to y. They all mean exactly the same thing. So in this question, it said that z is proportional to m. So proportional, we use a funny symbol that looks a bit like a fish. So that means z is proportional to m. Well, I need to get rid of this symbol and I need to write this as a real equation with an equal sign. And to do that, I need to use the information given at the beginning of the question. So when I change that funny symbol there to an equal sign, I have to include a constant and I'm gonna call my constant k, but it doesn't matter which letter you use. So z equals km. So when you change that symbol, you have to add in this constant value. So we need to work out what the value of k is, and in order to do that, I need to substitute in the values 20 and four. So I'm going to change z to 20. K, we don't know yet, and m is four. So, Looking at this equation, I can see k must be 5, because 5 multiplied by 4 gives me 20. So now, I know the equation connecting z and m. Remember, the equation was z equals km. Well, now we know the value of k, I know my equation is z equals 5m. So I can use this equation throughout the question to answer parts A and B. So you won't be able to do parts A and B until you've found the equation here. So in part A, it tells us that m is 7 and we have to work out the value of z. So change your m value to 7 in the equation. So z, we're trying to find, 5 is the constant, so it's always going to be the same and m is 7, so you can either write brackets or you can write times because you're timesing those together, which means z must be 35 because 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. So we've answered part A. Now in part B, we're going to use that same equation up here, z equals 5m, except this time I need to change the value of z and I'm going to change it to 55. So here's the equation. Change your value of z, so substitute in 55, and the value of m must be 11, because 5 times 11 gives me 55. So m equals 11. So I've solved parts a and b. All right, on to the next one. All right, so in this second example, it says that a varies directly as r squared. Remember, varies directly is just the same as proportional, just like in the last example. So I'm going to start by writing down a and then that proportional symbol with the r squared, just to show the connection between a and r. So we need to change that symbol to an equal sign, but when we change that to an equal sign, we need to now include a constant, which we call k. Now to find the value of k, we need to substitute in the information given at the beginning of the question. So we need to change a to 12 and r to 2. So I'm going to do that in this equation here. So I've got 2 squared there, because r is 2 and a is 12. Now let's solve this equation to find x. Well, 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. So on the right hand side, I've got k times 4, which is the same as just 4k. So the value of k must be 3, because 4 multiplied by 3 gives me 12. So now that I've got my equation, so I found k, so I've got the equation a equals 3r squared, so I'm just changing the k value to 3. I can use this equation throughout my question to work out the value of a, and then afterwards the value of r. So in part a, it asks us to change r to 5. So a is what we're trying to find, 3 is the constant, so that stays the same, and r is 5, so I've got 5, not forgetting the squared, and now I have to work this out. So 5 squared is 5 times 5, and 3 lots of 25 is 75. So a in the first part of the question is 75. Now in part b, we start by writing out that equation again. Remember, you need to use this equation all the way through the question. And this time, we need to substitute in the number 48. So I'm going to replace a with 48. 
And now I need to solve this equation to find the value of r. So the opposite of multiplying by 3 is to divide by 3. So I'm going to divide by 3 on the left hand side of the equation and divide by 3 on the right hand side. So when I divide by 3 over here, 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So the 3 is just cancel, which is what we want to happen. And on this side, 48 divided by 3, well that gives me 16. So I'm going to write that up here. So I've got 16 is equal to r squared, because that's what's left over on the right hand side of the equal sign. So we haven't finished because we need to find the value of r and it currently says r squared. So to get rid of the squared symbol, we need to do the opposite and we need to square root. So I'm going to square root everything in this equation. So when I square root 16, we have to be careful because there are two answers. When I square root 16, yes, we get four because four squared is 16, four times four is 16, but we also get a negative value because negative four squared is also 16 because negative four times negative four also gives me positive 16. So when I square root both sides, I have to remember there are two values for R, one positive and one negative. And you can just write it like that if you want to. And when you square root the square, well that just cancelled the square symbol. Okay, so there are two examples on proportion or variation. In my next video, I'll be showing you inverse proportion, which is a little bit different.